All right, this is the, the third part of our four-part series, uh-huh. What the Movies Can Teach Us About Plumbing Business. <laughs> and this time out, yeah. for this episode, we're going to mm-hmm. cover Moneyball. I had a ton of base hitters, and we won a lot of games, made a lot of money. Winning the games is winning is getting making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we had a few home run hitters. And we had and you'll get the guys that can that all of a sudden they mm-hmm. get comfortable. Right. And and they'll they'll get the home runs because they get the right pitch. Mm-hmm. The pitch that they get their pitch mm-hmm. and they knock it out of the park. Right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 356th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, Mm -hmm. where we're talking the business of plumbing. Once again, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. That's Mm -hmm. what we're all about here. And we're in the midst of our, this is the the third part of our four-part series. Uh Uh-huh. What the movies can teach us about plumbing business. <laughs> All right, we've been having fun with this. Mm-hmm. I think you just wanted to do it just because you're such a movie I like, guy. I love the movies. <laughs> well, I, one thing I just love again about the movies, you know, it's, it's our pop culture, right? Our pop culture really, we really know and have under, have an understanding for certain truths. Mm-hmm. And and so we can see, you know, business truths and in, in a, a lot of, uh, and success truths in, in a lot of these movies. So mm-hmm. we've looked at like Rocky you know, and we, I think we've we done Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this time out, yeah. for this episode, we're going to mm-hmm. cover Moneyball. Now, that's not uh, a real well-known movie. So if you haven't seen Moneyball, uh, maybe synopsis. Go see it. I love it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be, it's, it's about uh, the baseball. It's a baseball movie. Sort um, of. And ladies well, just, when you say that, sometimes the ladies go, I'm out. Um, but it's really not all about baseball. And it's, no. it's a really great movie. It, it's it's uh, Brad Pitt. So the ladies may like that. You got Brad Pitt <laughs> in it. Okay. Uh, plays uh, Billy Bean, who's um, the general manager of the Oakland A's. You know, Back he's a in the... Oh, well, it was uh, ni- early 90s. No, it was right. No, about 2000, right at 2000 oh, at that it? time. Okay. And so the idea, you know, how does a, a, a small... Um, team. Organ, team organization, organization. compete mm-hmm. with the large teams money wise, right? And get the players and all that so kind of Oakland stuff. Oakland A's versus say the, the Yankees. Yankees. Yeah. All right, mm-hmm. and so it's really cool. So yeah, so the, yeah, it's the baseball is what what's you know is around it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it ain't about baseball. You know, right. it's just like it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's about the, the business side of things mm-hmm. and what they did. So so it, if you haven't seen it, we really recommend go really, watch it and put on your business hat. Yes, when you watch it. So. And this a lot of lot of great things came out and of it's that. A great Even movie. dealing with people and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It's a feel good um, movie too. Yes, mm-hmm. and uh, so but but check it out. But we're going to see what uh, take a look at what Moneyball uh, teaches about uh, plumbing business success. One of my favorite lines is, "Would you rather have one to the head or five to the chest?" <laughs> right, <laughs> and you have to go watch it to find out. <laughs> but we use that analogy a lot. I would yes. prefer one to the head. Thank you very much. Exactly. So. <laughs> Hey, before we get into that, uh, yep. let's uh, let's check in with our sponsor here. Alrighty. Thank our sponsor. Our sponsor for this episode is uh, Plumline. You know, every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. So stop missing those opportunities with Plumline. Mm-hmm. Plumline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Founded by a plumbing business owner, Plumline understands the importance of booking every job opportunity. Plumline CERs book jobs directly into your booking Wait, software. Plum, Plumline what? C- C- CSRs. CSRs. C- okay. uh, CSRs. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. All right. Book jobs directly mm-hmm. into your booking software so you don't have to. So they go Great right thing. into Service Titan or House Call Pro or whatever you use. Exactly. <laughs> Leaving you to do what you do best, right? Mm-hmm. Taking care of Mrs. Jones. So whether you're just starting out, especially if you're still in the truck, or a seasoned residential service plumbing business, Plumline is a no-brainer. Go from surviving to thriving. Never miss an opportunity again. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you are a Potty Talk listener for priority onboarding. All right? Mm -hmm. Take advantage of that. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline. And start plumbing like a champion Today. They have got a great service that they offer for plumbing business owners. They strictly stick with, ah. with plumbing businesses. Um, but yeah, they, they fill your no. schedule up. It, it's a no brainer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And especially as like I said, if you're, st- if you're in a, still in the truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, if yeah. you're, if you're in the truck. And you're the one answering the phones. You're killing yourself, you're, man. Yeah, you're All right. Good man plumbing. All right. Have, have them do it. They pay. And it, it's by, uh, you know, per call that they book. All right. You, right, can't you only get charged by if they book, actually book a book call. call. So they get, if they answer your phone's. 50 times in one day and they don't book a single call, 
there's, you don't get charged right. for any of those calls. Right. So okay. it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And I love that they do it the MDP way. It's mm -hmm. book every call, book the call, book the call. They're going to get your schedule full. Book the call, <laughs> book every call, book every call for today. <laughs> book the call. It's not like we've had lots of- Book every call. Well, what if there's a hundred calls and it's just me? Book every call for today. <laughs> but that is not our topic for right, today. Right, that is not the topic. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're talking Moneyball. What Money the ball. movies All right. teach us about. Oh, <coughs> oh my me. goodness. About our plumbing business. Oh, Excuse my goodness. Me. You all right, baby? I know. I got the COVID, I think. <laughs> Look out. Okay. We're going to be shutting things down. <laughs> we're all going to die. Okay. Hey, qu qu question for you, though. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Yes, I honey. know you're going to love this one. I thought of this one just for you. Oh, well. What's your favorite baseball team? <laughs> <laughs> I did huh. used to like baseball. Yeah. Just not as, well, really, yeah. basketball was my favorite. You were, you were a right, college basketball. Like, not, you were a fanatic. Well, yeah. College. Well, back in the day when Bobby Knight and Indiana Hoosiers was the ultimate. When basketball was basketball. Basketball. And, and coaches, men were men. Coaches could be coaches. Right. And, and they actually played ball. And Keith Smart and the miracle shot at eight seconds yes. winning the NCAA tournament in 1987. Not that I would know yeah. anything about that. But baseball, my favorite baseball team, I guess Cincinnati Reds because yeah, I lived in Indiana. Yeah, Indiana did not have a, a baseball team. Right. So that was, that was yeah. my, that was my mm -hmm. team too. The, Dave Concepcion was my favorite player. I played baseball catch with Dave Concepcion. What? Yeah. <laughs> I had a buddy. Oh, I think I remember you um, saying that. Yeah. Oh, he's that, got a million. Uh, we need to do a whole episode from, on just all your stories. Yep. That's what we need to do. From one of my <clears throat> um, Latin buddies, South American buddies, and uh, grew up in a town. They were friends with that family. Mm. And they had a big, uh, big uh, South American party or whatever. Mm. And it was fun. And, uh, and Dave Concepcion was there. And invited and he showed up. Mm. And got to play catch with Davey Concepcion. What if anybody listening knows who that is? Oh, one of the best shortstops of all time. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then Pete Rose. The, the big red machine. I love Pete Rose and I Johnny love, Bench. I saw Pete Rose naked in the shower. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> okay. That's a whole other. Now we are going <coughs> to, is your voice going to give yeah, up? Yeah, that kind of crack. No, we are going to have to do a whole yeah. show on all your right. stories. <laughs> and we play golf with Bob Hope. Yes. And your your artwork is in Top Gun. In Top Gun. So. Right. You got them all, baby. We, go. we are going to do go. a show with all your stories. Okay. It's official. All right. Yes. So let's talk. Um, what are we talking? Moneyball. Let's Money talk ball. Moneyball. All right. <laughs> so what, what did Moneyball teach us here? I'm looking ahead. Number well, one. Actually, what? I also want to say, um, let us know if you're watching on yeah. a social media channel that we can post a comment. Go ahead and post um, your favorite baseball yeah, team. What's your baseball, you know, yeah. favorite baseball team? I, I miss, quite honestly, I miss sports when the, the men were men and they played the ball. You know, they just played ball. They didn't they shut up and play didn't, the ball. Right. Just shut up and play the game. <laughs> You know, don't need to know your politics. Right. Anyway, don't, really don't tell me what to think. Mm -hmm. You million dollar. Okay. Whatever. So okay. money ball, anyway. <laughs> money ball, money ball. Right. So I have missed those days. I know. All right. Mm -hmm. Big red machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember, I remember my, my grandfather taking me to my first baseball game. Oh yeah. Right. It's fun. And it was at Crosley field in mm -hmm. Cincinnati before they had riverfront stadium riverfront and all stadium. that. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember walking out and the grass was all green, you know, mm -hmm. just you know, come out and you know, it's all green and the brown of the dirt and, mm -hmm. Magical. There's something magical about that. I, I agree. You know, used to and be the hot dogs. Right. America. Can't beat the hot dogs. There we go. There's something about hot dogs, <laughs> hot dogs in the at open. a ball stadium. Yeah. They're just the best. You know, love that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. Money ball. Enough reminiscing. Okay. Money ball. Okay. Number one, what money ball teaches us. Okay. No money is no excuse. Mm -hmm. Okay. No money mm -hmm. is no excuse. Mm -hmm. Because right. the Oakland A's. Well, had no money. They had they really had no money in, in compared <laughs> mm -hmm. to the other other big teams like the right. Yankees and and you know the Red Sox and those those kinds of teams. Mm -hmm. Even even the Reds. Mm -hmm. well, it's, um, but it's just it's no excuse. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's never enough money. You're <laughs> never going to have enough money. There's never enough money, mm -hmm. I mean, especially if you look at it as the money. Right. Uh, I need the money to be able to do this. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The money. Mm. is what, what enables me to do this. Mm. Okay. If you're looking at it that way, there's never going to be enough. All right. Yeah. The Oakland A's, they were small, small um, team, right? right. Small, small firm, small, yeah, right? Yeah. right? And the owner, um, I love the Just different a, scenes where Billy Bean's going to him asking right. for more money. And right. he's like, Okay, you got anything else for me? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you do? You know, the answer is no. What else right? you got? And, and Billy just kept pushing. And in fact, if you look at e even the, some of the, the greatest successful, you know, the business stories all started. There's no money. Okay, well, you say, well, yeah, they start with no money. Well, well it's easy to look at them now, but they all that's Amazon. 
Right. It's a great story. I, I forget what he gave shares away for. I, like I, I heard it. Yeah. It was like, well, I mean, he got nothing, but he gave away an awful lot in the mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. just for people, friends and family to invest in Amazon. Right. 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 So, you know, and you worked off a, you know, a door, at a door as a desk, you know, on a couple, right. you know, saw horses, saw horses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, you, it's just, there's no money. Okay. Um, so but that's you, not an excuse. It's, it's not an excuse. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's never enough money. Okay. You know, we started our plumbing business. We, <laughs> you know, we spent our last $1,500. I mean, it was 1500 bucks, you know, was it 15? I, it was 3000. Yeah. What was the truck? The van we got. Oh, the van know. van was like twelve hundred dollars. I got it. Was it? Yeah, uh, old you know, old remember. carpet guy had it, and mm -hmm. and, uh, and we we had no money. We had, literally had no money. Had no right. Money. That yeah. was our savings. Mm -hmm. We have stories with our clients that started with with no money. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. I mean, negative. Negative money. Negative negative money. Mm -hmm. Right. But just did they just they were moved writing They're writing checks. checks their body cash. cash. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. But when you're focused on the money, um, you know that's. You know, instead uh, of the solution, right? Okay. Or, or thinking outside the box, which again in Moneyball, that's what he had to di do. Right. Billy Bean had he wasn't getting any more money. The owner already said so. He had to come up with other ways right. um, to be successful. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why you know we talk we talk with our clients, and we you know we never even you know even in, in the academy and even with our clients or whatever we don't get into a lot of um, you know every expense point. Okay. You know, like an accountant say, you got to cut this and do this mm -hmm. and do that. And all. If you're focused on like that, you're just you're focused fo on dying. Right. If you're focused on cutting. Right. You're right. just focused on dying. Focus on the top line. The top line or just growing the top line mm -hmm. of making money. Correct. Okay. Bring in Instead of, I don't have the money or, or, you know, this is too expensive and that kind of stuff. You just, you're, you know, you're dead man plumbing right. at that point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So money is no excuse. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, <clears throat> the old way is not the only way. <laughs> Let me repeat that. <laughs> The old way is not the only way. Okay, be open to new ideas. You know, um, you know. Again, I use, when when I talk with guys, well, this is the way. This is the way I've always done it. Mm. Well, how's uh, that working out for you? Okay. <laughs> and why, why, why are we bother? Why'd you bother talking to me? What, what, are we, what are we? What are we talking about here? Well, you in know? Moneyball. Um, <laughs> Billy Bean, the manager, had to come right. up with different ways, right? Right. And so I he mean, met um, a young, oh gosh, statistician. So you say the word <laughs> statistician. <laughs> okay. Statistician. <laughs> he knew stats really well. How's that? A stats okay. expert, right? And, and, and in, money in the movie, they, they got it down to one guy, but in reality, it was two guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for the um, sake of the but movie. For that, right. But for the movie, right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's down to, you know, one guy. So he brought know. in a whole different perspective right. um, on how to look at your team. Right. So instead of, you know, um, you know, looking for, um, you know, uh, the regular players in the system mm -hmm. that, you know, that look a certain the way. The home run hitters. And the home run, right. Right. And, you know, right. So again, in the movie, as they, he's, um, Billy Bean gathers his um, scouts and um, right. not managers, I forget what they're called, but they're basically the ones going out finding finding players, right? right. Putting the team together. Putting right. the team together, right. And they were used to looking for these um, all-stars, these home run hitters, these flamboyant, all these things, right? right. And Billy Bean brings the new kid along and- kind of shakes things up and they were not having it. They were looking at the stats different, the mm -hmm. numbers differently. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And so that leads to, you know, the reality, the system will push back. Um, you're you're going to feel it as well. It's, it's a hard thing when, you know, for example, um, um, you know, with plumbing here, we think we got to work every weekend. You got to be open 24 seven, 24 seven. You got to be, you got to be open 24 seven. I bet if you're, you're watching this right now, if you're listening to this and right now, a, I, I bet you're thinking, well, well yeah, you got to work with if you're not you're a plumber, academy. right. You got to be, you got to work 24 seven, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You got to be available. What, what, whatever there's a, whatever there's a plumbing emergency, what, mm -hmm. what, 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 what's going to happen? We're all going to die. <laughs> all right. No, you don't have to. You do not. You do not. Mm -hmm. All you right. Do not. We made buku bucks. Mm -hmm. And didn't work weekends, which let me, uh, our guys, our guys didn't work didn't weekends. Work weekends. Yeah, Little hint there yeah. on how to attract guys. Mm -hmm. Didn't work weekends. No didn't on work call, nights. Holidays. No on call, right? right. No holidays, right. all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. That's one of the things we teach in the Success Academy and then also with our, our private coaching clients. Right. Um, and sometimes that's a hard thing, a hard hurdle to get over because yeah, as plumbing companies, you think, well, I've got, I do have to be open all the time. Well, actually you don't and, and your guys will be happier. And so what happens is you've got happier guys. They last longer. Um, they're going to take better care of Mrs. Jones because they weren't out till two in the morning working on the toilet clog, right? right. The beeper goes off. I know beeper. Uh, beeper. Back we used to have beepers. 
Um, and you're like, oh, as soon as that goes off the phone or whatever, and you're like, there's a call. I'm going to get up and go. That's what kind of life is that, right? Is that the life you really wanted? Exactly. Mm -mm. You know, but, but yet the system, the environment will say you, you have to, to be successful. You have mm -hmm. to do that. You'll have those that are doing it because they're doing it that mm -hmm. way. And, you know, they have to make sense of what they're doing. Right. We'll say, well, you're going to die. You're mm -hmm. going to, you're not going to make it. You're going to be unsuccessful. You know, they're mm -hmm. putting that pressure on you. Right. You know, so you, you're going to have, the, the system is going to push back on you, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you're doing different things, mm -hmm. you know, like that. Okay? Yes. Um, what else? What other type of the old way? I mean, 20, working 24 seven is, is certainly one. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. The idea that, um, you know, we're going to get in, you know, the branding, you know, one of our, you know, one of, one of our sponsors here for potty talk is, is kick charge. Okay. A great, a great branding, um, you know, logo company or yes. whatever mm -hmm. you know, the best out there and the brand man and the brand man. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, the idea that, you know, starting out that you have to have, you know, just a piece of crap truck and, and put some letters on it, mm -hmm. but you know, how do you, you're right. Yeah. You, know, you can't, you, you can't put a, what are you doing getting all logoed up? And mm -hmm. you know, the, just as simple as that, you think, well, why, why even have an opinion about that or right. whatever? Well, no, it's what well, you can't, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you do, you're going to hear about it from other um, business owners, plumbing business owners questioning you on, oh, what are you doing? Right. Right. It's usually in a negative, in negative way like in that. in a negative way. Right. Mm -hmm. well, a negative way that the, that you guys can take on yourselves is this thing of pricing. I can't charge that. Mm -hmm. I'm not that big. And it's usually because I'm not, uh, well, of course they're charging that because they're a big company. Right. Well, as you, you'll find out, um, especially in the Success Academy, that those big companies, it costs them less to operate than you. Correct. It's more expensive for you to operate than mm -hmm. those big companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so really they could charge less, but it's not a matter about charging less, but mm -hmm. we carry, you know, that's uh, that kind of thinking too. Well, I, I can't, I, I'm not big. I don't, I don't have a bunch of fancy stuff. I don't right. have this or that. So I can't charge mm -hmm. more than what those guys are charging. Not true. Right. Mm -hmm. So, no, the old way is not the only way. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got to be open and usually to new ideas. Not the way at all. <laughs> right. Now, the good news about this is those bigger and older companies, you know, a lot of times the guys starting out, they're afraid this company has been around forever in their town. Mm -hmm. You're going to find, you love that because mm -hmm. they're, they're, you know, they're in a rut. The old companies. The old company, because mm -hmm. they're what's they've been doing and what got them there, you mm -hmm. know, and things are, they just, they're not changing. Right. They were successful with the old way. Right. But they okay. didn't grow and, and change. And boy, there was a number of those in Indianapolis. Right. Right. And they're setting their ways. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we had a, um, an indie, you know, back in when the, the big recession went through what in, you know, 2008, oh, 9, 10 and all mm -hmm. that, you know, there was a big company had been around for like 150 years. It was like the original plumbing company in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm went out of business. Yeah, they didn't adapt. They didn't Great. adapt. They didn't, mm -hmm. they didn't change. Mm -hmm. Right. Because they were set, no, we got to, this is how you do it. This is, the you, whole know, world you, changed. you work the weekends, mm -hmm. you make your money on commercial, you do mm -hmm. this and that and all that. We can't do that, you know. Yeah. And right. All of a sudden you're on the hook for all that commercial work. Right. So, yes. So, you know, they went out of business, mm -hmm. been around for 150 years. Mm -hmm. So the old way. All right. Isn't the only way. It's not the only way. Okay. Okay. So be open to new ways. Mm -hmm. All right. Just like Billy Bean was. Exactly. To, what was his name in the movie? The uh, stats guy. Oh, golly. Can't remember. Anyway. I know he was, mm -hmm. yeah. I know he was a, <laughs> right, snapping for those. Yeah. Such a great movie. Just point out and snap. Yeah. Right. Anyway, okay. you were going to say, there we go. Plumber. Hey, good to have you here uh, on the podcast. Or if you're watching the video, yeah, I have something for you here. My million dollar plumber blueprint. Okay. Where I lay out the exact specs you must. And I'm just going to come out and say, you must have these things in place in order to build a successful self-sustaining keyword there. I always want to stress that. That all kind of goes by and very profitable plumbing business. And I lay it all out there for you in my million dollar plumber blueprint mm -hmm. and it's free. All right. <laughs> Don't cost you a thing. This cost you all my years of experience, <laughs> all my wasted time and money. All right. You get to take advantage of that. All right. So do it. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. That's true. Okay. Um, no, for the blueprint. No, for the blueprint. Free. Or slash, free. Okay. Slash free. Slash, thank you. All right. See, we got this new, we're, we're still in. Mm -hmm. we're um, in transition. And transition here with to, the new potty talk. Because the old way isn't always the best isn't, way. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you you got to adapt. You mm -hmm. got to change. All so, right. Blueprint. All right. So grab your free blueprint mm -hmm. today. Yes. Also, before we dive back into the podcast, want to remember to extend an invitation to everyone to follow us out on social media. We are out on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. Come our, hang out with us. Yes. Our handle or whatever it's called, 
is it handle? I think it is, yeah. is the million dollar plumber. Um, but again, we're Instagram, Facebook. We, if you like what you hear on the podcast, we've got lots more of that going on over on our social media channels. So give us a like, give us a follow, all the things. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, Come join us. Come be friends. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. There we go. Moneyball. Okay. So far, Moneyball has taught us no money is no excuse. Mm-hmm. All right. Stop with the money excuse. Okay. okay. Stop with the money excuse. Mm-hmm. Number two, the old way is not the only way. Mm-hmm. All right. Be open. Open to new things. To, to new ways. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, quite frankly, I see the, the ones that go through the academy, and especially the ones we work with directly, mm-hmm. you know, in, on the master, mm-hmm. the master level. Um, the ones that literally can go from no money, even in, we have cases like that where they've gone from no money, actually being in debt, mm-hmm. literally 18 months later, they're multi-millions, right. multi-trucks. Got a GM, get a GM running the show. Right. Mm-hmm. The difference between those that, that get there quicker or the quickest mm-hmm. and those that don't are the ones that are willing to give up the old ways. Yes. Well, well I always do new construction. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we got to do new, 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 new construction is big around here. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> How's that working, How's that out, working for out for you? <laughs> so why, why, why are we talking again? <laughs> right. You got it all figured out. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's being open to okay. news. Well, well I, I don't do debt. Well, I never, I always pay cash for trucks and then I, and I paint them. I fix them up and paint them. Mm-hmm. How's that working oh, out for you? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Great um, podcast the other day with Robert Kiyosaki. Oh, yeah. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm um, talking about debt. Yeah. It's really good. Oh, you want that, right? I know. I better, better, yeah. I know what he said. From a business standpoint, right? That's how businesses grow. Is you want to be wealthy, mm-hmm. you get debt, right? If you want to be Smart poor, debt. middle class, mm-hmm. Smart must, debt, though. right? Yes, There's, right. There's the right kind of debt, right? But you're seeking out debt. Mm-hmm. Debt right. is good, right? The right kind or of business. debt is good, correct? Right. All right. So point so number three. Go. Point number three, and this is a good one. Okay, <gasps> I can't wait. Yeah, listen to it. Okay, get on base. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, just get on base, mm-hmm. okay? Home run, home runs don't win games. Mm-hmm. Except I know this is the time, uh, even the, you know, I want to give away, but you know, the ones up winning, you know, they, they can. But overall, home runs don't win games. Right. Base hits do. Right, but okay? they didn't get to the World Series or not World Series, playoffs or whatever right. it was well, on by home, home runs. runs. They right. got it by? By base hits. Getting on base. The same, same goes for your plumbing business, mm-hmm. okay? Get get the single, meaning get get the get the toilet repair call. Stop trying to sell them the super duper, mm-hmm. you know, extra special, world saving, universal, whatever, <laughs> you know, water and, conditioning. Right, throwing the water softener right. on top of it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, that 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 kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to sell. Try, stop trying for the home runs. Mm-hmm. They are fun, sexy, exciting, all that kind of stuff. And every the now and tickets. then you get Every, Every now and then you because you get the run. right pitch. I mean, that's right. how we looked at it. That's how we looked at it. Mm-hmm. I had a ton of base hitters mm-hmm. and we won a lot of games, made a lot of money. Winning the games is winning is getting, making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we had a few home run hitters and we had, and you'll get the guys that can, that all of a sudden they get comfortable right. and, and they'll, they'll get the home runs because they get the right pitch, mm-hmm. the pitch that they get their pitch mm-hmm. and they knock it out of the park. Right. But instead of what happens is we get all caught up in this trying to get home runs. So we get all worked up in sales and selling. And I got to make salesmen out of these guys and sell, sell, sell. Mm-hmm. And the pressure's on them to hit home runs every time they go out. And and the guys aren't going to do it. They, first of all, they can't. Nine guys out of 10 can't do it. No matter how many sales trainings you send them to and they learn all the special words and the song and dance and they laugh and it's fun. They get a free meal, all that kind of stuff. It ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. Just get the base hit. Right. Okay. And it's the same goes, um, the same analogy goes for um, who you hire, right? Right. Don't look for the perfect players. No. There's very few of them. Right. Right. There's very few. So example, a lot of, you know, we're plumbers, right? The guys who start the plumbing business, I'm a master plumber. And right. the odds are you probably think you're the best and you are probably really good. Okay. Probably are. Yes. All right. And, and so, but the reality of it is most guys aren't. Mm-hmm. So we start this plumbing business thinking, oh, well, all the guys got to plumb this way mm-hmm. and they got to be the best at plumbing. So they got to look a certain way. They got to swing a certain way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Throw a certain way, run the bases a certain way. They do not. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what you do is you mind up, you wind up missing these guys that are just good, consistent guys. Mm-hmm. They get on base. Yes. All right. They go to the job. Mm-hmm. They work your system. They, they show up. The option. They show up they, on time. Right. They do. They're they clean. Do the good work. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Okay. They just, they just, they're just not selling every big package that you have. Right. They just don't mm-hmm. naturally, they don't naturally do that. Mm-hmm. But I will tell you some of these not so perfect players in that environment and just getting them consistent, you'd be amazed at how all of a sudden they find another gear mm-hmm. and they find, okay, ooh, I can do this. I yes. can do that. Yes. They, given the right culture, right. the right culture for them. Okay. You know, so, you know, a key part of that, again, I kind of, I kind of mentioned it was work the system mm-hmm. for getting those base hits. Mm-hmm. You got to have a system in place and work the system. Every single call, every single day. <laughs> Which is exactly day what, in. day in, day, day out. That's right. what it was in, in Moneyball. Again, guys, really encourage you to go to watch, watch when you watch the movie right. to put on your business hat, but that's what it was. It's just, we are getting on base. What do we want? We want a base hit. That's want what a base we want. Hit. Want a base hit. Mm-hmm. Want a base hit. Want a base hit. Mm-hmm. And so it's working, having a system in place. All right. Mm-hmm. And then working that system every single call. Mm-hmm. Well, my phone's not ringing a lot. Every <laughs> single call. Well, we got a bunch of sump pump calls. Every, Every call. single <laughs> call. Well, Joe called in sick. Every <laughs> single call. My toe hurts. Every. I'm just going, I'm t- you see what I'm going? I mean, I and that's the thing. Mean. We always find, well, I just don't feel like it today, or I'm upset. Or we had this bad customer. Every. So all of a sudden, we just drop off. No. Every single call. Work that get system. Base. Get on base. Get on base. Get on base. Yes. I mean, I, I can't. Mm-hmm. It is that simple. Yes. We try to make it um, right. seem hard because not many people do it. But right. again. Well, it's because people won't do that. That's what's hard. That's mm-hmm. what's not, not easy. Well, people won't do it. Well, we have the tendency to make things more complex than they actually well, yeah. need to. That's why uh, I kind of over, I want to overstress because there are guys out there and groups out there that make it, you know, that's just what they sell. They make it sound all, it's all so difficult and you got to do this and know this and have work these numbers and you got these sales techniques and you do this and you do that and all that. And you got to, well, it, it's not, it's not that hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. It really is simple. Get on base. Right. You get on base, whatever calls you got, whatever, whatever times at bat you have, whatever, just get on base. Provide the options. Right. And serve Mrs. Jones. It's getting on base. Mrs. So. Jones didn't wake up this morning and want to call you. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm-hmm. She's already sold. There's no, there's no need to sell anything. Yeah. Well, she's asking how much is I charge? Well, that's because that's just an, Mm-hmm. She's looking to have some kind of control. Mm-hmm. That's just a, a question that gives her, that sounds reasonable. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that, that's not her concern. Right. You know, just, she's already sold. Go out and take care of Mrs. Jones. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. on base. Get on base. So, all right. There all we right. go. Money ball. That's a big one. Hey, a bonus on there. Oh, You're thinking, okay. You kind of brought it up. Yes. I think, I think you said it. Mm-hmm. That Billy Bean wasn't the best baseball player. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Did I say it? If I did. You kind of said it. Sound, okay. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. kind of. Yes. Cause he was a baseball player and then turned manager. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, the good news with that is, you know, whether it's him and you see it in a lot of areas, we, when we look at these successful businesses or successful people, you know, even, you know, the sports stars and like my, one of my biggies, you know, goes back to my era, you know, uh, Jordan, Michael Jordan mm-hmm. wasn't the time when he was coming up, wasn't the best. Mm-hmm. Right. As far as natural talent, wasn't the best. He made himself the best. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to be the best. You don't have to be the best Mm -hmm. to be successful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You just need to get on base. Yeah. So yeah, Billy Bean Bean was not a great baseball player, but he ended up being a great manager because he was willing to be open. GM. Or GM. GM. Thank you. Um, Open to new ideas. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Where we at? Moneyball. Okay. No money is no excuse. The old way is not the only way. Get on base. All right. That's uh, just a and couple things. An, then we have an action item again for everyone. Go watch that movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun Money movie. Ball. It's a good, right. Yeah, it's a good like one. we may, we don't watch that. We haven't watched that for a while. We haven't watched that one for a while. Right. It is a fun, just look <laughs> at it, put your business cap on mm-hmm. and look at it that way. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, there's, there's some other good stuff in there too. Yeah. And funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You'll laugh, you'll cry. Yeah. All the things. <laughs> have, have a good time. All right. <laughs> just like when you, um, Watch the the videos in the Success Academy. Ooh, you laugh, good, you cry. Good transition. <laughs> All right, that's right. Hey, check out the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. If you're looking to take your uh, actually have a successful plumbing business, whether you're starting out or if you're tired of the rut that you're in, okay, or you finally figured out there's something that you don't know, like business, mm-hmm. okay, we cover it all in the Success Academy. Teach you everything you need to know to run a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, all right? Guys go to business school and don't know this stuff, mm-hmm. okay? All right, we tell you exactly what you need to do, how to do it. We need to go over everything. Right, Marketing, okay. 
And right um, now, branding, I, think, all the I think things. you said you still kept the 14-day 14 14 free, free trial. Yeah, I'm going to keep wait, it. Wait. Try and stop me. You're a sucker for these guys. <laughs> okay. All right. So you can check it out for free. All right. There, there's no, there's no catch. All right. Check it out. You know, first thing, first module, you learn your, what we call the honest hourly rate. Learn how to figure out your uh, hourly rate. Why, why you do what you do, mm -hmm. uh, how to charge. Okay. And, and um, among make, some other very important things there, there's absolutely. lots of things that you got to know mm -hmm. that we cover. Okay. Let's we'll check it out. Levels, apprentice, journeyman, and master. So whatever level of commitment, whether you kind of want to walk yourself through um, at the apprentice level, which you can do that. You can go through all the video classes and courses yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can go to journeyman level, which is, you know, all the video classes, it's over 150 videos. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then master and, level. And then, well, the journeyman level, we have the open, oh, you get to open... Twice group a month, coaching. group group coaching, mm -hmm. and then the, the the community. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of activity in that community. Asking questions, that's where I hang out. Mm -hmm. And then um, then the master level, you know, say you want, uh, you know, you want you want a coach, mm -hmm. okay? That's actually going to show you how and what to do, okay? Push you, walk walk you through the mm -hmm. academy, hold you accountable, right? Okay, you can do that. It all depends on what uh, you know, what your commit commitment level is there. Mm -hmm. But you can check it out. You can check it out for free, 14 day free trial. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. There you have it. Great, Great stuff here. Money oh, ball. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Babe. Hey, mm -hmm. before I let you go, I want to remind you. You were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So as always, plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. 